Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about another lesson of the Rust book that is basically mod and use. So let's go to the screen and I will show you there. As you can see here that I'm currently present in this Visual Studio Code and these are the lessons that I have covered in my previous videos. So if you have not watched my previous videos, I recommend you to watch them in order to understand this uh, topic and the other topics also. So uh, this is the last topic that I have covered. If I show you here, this is the module and inside this module I have shown you that uh, module is a block in which you can write all the structures, the functions and you can call that uh, module instead of calling the functions separately. So yeah, this was the module and I declared all of them in the main.rs file. So now I'm extending this functionality more in order to show you that how you can use the module and how you can call that uh, in a further way so that you can understand it. Like let's say if you have like bigger projects or if the bug bigger projects are present and you want to structure that project's file then in order to understand it the module will be helpful in order to structure that project right so let's go to this uh, um, uh, terminal and inside this I will create a file that is basically cargo new and uh, this uh, now the directory name is going to be uh, mod use and the package name is going to be mod use because the package name is not allowing the uh, what you can say here the uh, the package name is not allowing the numbers to be uh, present in the in, in the start point instead you have to write the package name like this you can see here this is the package name modules and this directory name so if i write the package name uh, start from zero uh, sorry start from 15 then it will not accept it so yeah this is a point that i have covered in my previous video so now the next point is go to this main.rs file and after that, let's open this, uh, uh, let's show you that what is mod. So mod is nothing, it's just a module in which uh, all the code will be written in, in a block so that you can use that uh, block instead of calling the functions multiple times. Now the next thing is basically use. So use is basically bringing uh, that module into the current scope, all right? Into the current scope. So I'm going to show you that how you can create the module in another file, but you need to keep this in mind that uh, the use is a keyword that will basically bring that module that will take this module. And after that, it will uh, call this in a in another file. So let's say if you have multiple modules and you want to call a separate module, then you can use this uh, use keyword, right? So yeah, this is the functionality of the mod and use. And I'm going to show you that how you can use this uh, functionalities. But first of all, I need to write it above here. And after that, I will comment this. Now, the next step is basically, this is the main function in which the hello world is printed. Now, the next step that I'm going to do is to uh, create another module. So how you can create a mo module? You will simply create a directory or a folder by the name of gratings. You can name it any, any directory name that you want to, but I'm going to create the gratings inside this source directory and this will be considered as module. So how you can differentiate between a folder and a module? Basically, you need to create a mod.rs file also. So mod.rs file, if you create this mod.rs file inside this greetings directory, now this greetings directory will be considered as module. All right. So now if I write the pub, that is basically public mod, this in module and the module name is going to be greetings. Now this greetings directory is now considered as module and this is one module and I can write multiple things in it. And after that, I, if I call this module, uh, uh, if I, let's say, if I call this module inside this main.rs, it will be uh, calling the functionalities from this folder. All right. So now I don't need to like directly call from this folder. Instead, I will define this as a module. And once the module is defined, I can call this module inside this main.rs file in order to uh, like run the functionalities that are present inside this uh, greetings directory. So I hope you understood. So if you are not understanding still, then you need to uh, think uh, only one thing, uh, keep one thing in mind that this greetings is a module and this is uh, this uh, module is created because the mod.rs file is created in it and here the pub mod greetings uh, line is created. All right. So that's why it is considered as module. So now after that, 
let's create another sub module because this is a module and I want to create uh, other sub modules in it and in order to create the sub modules you can simply create the file in it and uh, that file is going to be let's say greetings all right so this could be any any other any file that you want to let's say if I write happy all right so this is a happy.rs file that is a sub module all right so let's uh, create a function in it that happy and after that uh, what you can see here I'm so happy I'm so happy that I'm learning rest that I'm teaching rest okay so sorry teaching rest okay this is the sub module and inside the sub module I'll create it a function and this function can be called here in the main.rs file uh, by mentioning that it is a part of a module right so now this is a function that I have created now let's call this function inside this main.rs file so now in order to call this first of all I need to define the module so this is the module greetings so now I will say that hey this is a part of, uh, this is the module that I'm calling and that's why I have written it here now I will write the use and inside this use I will first of all write the crat so crat will basically refer to the root module so basically this is the function all right so this function will basically be referring to this main.rs all right so this happy function is going to refer to or this um, happy function will going to point out or refer to this main.rs file why because main.rs file is the root module I hope you understood so this function or this uh, sub module is referring to this main.rs file because the main.rs file is a um, root module and that's why I have written the crat uh, this statement here and after that two colon and after that the next step that I'm going to write is greetings so greetings is a mod uh, module let's open write it above here so that you can understand it uh, module so greeting is a module and after that I will create uh, I will write two colon and the next thing is basically the uh, what you can see here the sub module so sub module is happy okay so sub module is I think it is happy yeah sub module is happy okay because I created this happy uh, sub module that was part of the uh, like module now this is sub module mm, sub module okay sub module and now the next step that I'm going to do is to write the uh, what you can say function so function is happy okay function is happy so let's uh, remove these spaces so yeah this is the module this is sub module this is the function so now let's call this function okay so how I can call this I will simply call this happy instead of calling this whole uh, like line I will just call happy because now it is it will be working fine so now let's go to this CD and open uh, go to this 15 mod use directory and now let's write cargo run you can see here uh, yeah could not find happy in greetings okay so why it is giving me so because uh, let's say if I write if I change it to greetings change it to greetings maybe it will work fine no happy in greetings greetings although it should work but it is not working why let me just check it so here is a mistake that I made so this code is fine like the greetings this is a module the happy is a sub module and the function is the happy okay this is fine now the problem arises when I want to name this more.rs file like uh, in a, this way because the more.rs file will contains the sub module not the module I forgot about this right so it will take the sub modules take the it will take the sub modules like this okay so now 
this there are some modules that you need to write all of them you can see here this is the sub module happy.rs file not the happy function but the happy.rs file itself is a sub module so you need to write the happy sub module here instead of writing the module because the module name is by the uh, like uh, this greetings it is defined and now the sub modules can be defined in the more.rs so yeah from this point I, I hope it is cleared now if I write it like this, uh, if I save this and clear this in cargo run, you will see here there is a, a error here, but it is not relevant to the previous error that was basically um, uh, that was basically another one. But now it is showing me that the function is private. So if I want to make this function public of the sub module, I need to write this uh, pub. Okay. So now let's clear this cargo run this time it is running successfully because i have uh, like make this function public these are the sub, um, sub module that i defined here and now this is the call uh, sub module that i called here with a function right so yeah i hope from this point you understood that you can simply write this module and after that you can write this crat in order to refer to the uh, like root module that is the main.rs file and after that the greetings is a module the happy is a sub module and the happy inside it is a function okay so now let's take a look at another uh, example so now uh, let's create another sub module not module but sub module like data pub more data that is publicly available and now i will create another sub module inside this uh, like inside this greeting modules so uh, create the data rs okay so this data dot rs file is a sub module let's create a first structure so now the structure will look like struct data and inside this i will write a name string and after that age uh, age is going to be u32 okay so now in order to access this you can see here that the uh, sub module is defined now what i will do here i will keep the module as it is because the module is only one you can see here the module is greetings and i have written all of the sub modules like happy and data inside this greetings module so let's write use create this is referring so this data dot rs is referring to this root uh, or module that is the main dot rs file and after that greetings greetings is the module that is the same module and after that the data so uh, first of all i will write the data because the data in the smaller letter is the uh, sub module and the data in the upper case is basically the structure okay so this is a struct and this is the what you can say this uh, data in the small letters is a module uh, sub module so from this point i hope you understood now let's write uh, what you can see here structure so let's write let data this is a variable or this could be any variable let's say define variable and now let's write data that is a uh, what you can see structure data that i'm importing here and now let's write name and the name is going to be written like this str with string this is a syntax that i have shown you in my previous video also so make sure to watch it hello world sorry sorry not hello world but bilal khan okay now the next thing is going to be age 42 i'm not 42 but i'm just writing it right so let's write put some semicolon here so after that print line and print line inside this print line what i will do here i will write the uh, var variable okay so i will write put semicolon here like this it will print the data in details right so if there is any kind of details that is missing it will print that so now let's call this cargo run you can see here that it is giving me the error that private struct so in order to make it public i will simply write pub here and i will also name the field public because you cannot access the data out of the module if it is not public so all of these fields and structure is public now it can be accessed successfully now this is the thing that i will be discussing later on in the upcoming videos but let's copy this recommendation and i will put it up here 
and it will check that whether any kind of error present or not but uh, i will be discussing later on but yeah let's just copy it and after that clear this again run this you can see here that it is successfully printing the name is bilal khan ages 42 so now this is how it, the module and the sub module will working so i will repeat it again first of all this is the directory so this directory is will be considered as a module if the more.rs file is present in it okay this is a module and now this more.rs file will contains the will contain the sub modules like happy or data okay now this ha data is a sub module and now this happy is a sub module and now if i want to call these sub modules uh, into the uh, what you can say root uh, module that is basically the main.rs file i will first of all call the module here that is the greetings and after that i will use the sub module i will use those sub modules like this is the form, uh, sub first sub module all right and this is the second sub module this is basically print uh, calling the function and this is basically calling the struct okay i can name it this struct function or enum or any kind of thing that you want to but basically the last one will be depending on the um, functionality but these two will be the uh, like the module and the sub modules and after that this is a uh, sub module that i called here uh, the sub module function that i called here and this is another sub module structure that i called here so yeah from this point i hope you understood that how you can structure the application in rust by, by using the module and sub module so that it will be helpful for you let's say if there is a bigger application and you are not understanding that how they are arranged then you can understand it by using by understanding this module and sub module structure and it will be really uh, um, like helpful for you to understand so from now on i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comments section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye